brains, if you want to use that term, behind the column Psych Your Mind for the Intero Bang. Today I'm here with James Olson. He's a social psychology professor at the University of Western Ontario. James obtained his PhD at the University of Waterloo and has been a faculty member here since 1978. He served as a chair of the psychology department from 98 till 2003. And his primary research areas of interest include attitudes, justice, social cognition, and humor. He's also published more than 100 articles and chapters and has edited 10 books. So in line with my columns theme, that being, you know, discussing the concept of psychological maturity, we're going to grill James here a bit today and uh, see what his thoughts are on the matter. I think uh, someone who is uh, psychologically mature uh, has, handles negative things well and has sort of a positive outlook. So let me talk about each of those separately. In terms of handling things that, uh, that can be negative, um, we all encounter a lot of stress in our lives. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think one key to, to being healthy and, uh, and, uh, and being happy is, is to be able to deal with stress uh, in a kind of a constructive way, um, and that doesn't mean not feeling stressed, right. but but it means um, recognizing that things will pass, and uh, so taking sort of a, a longer term perspective, right. um, and um, uh, you know trying to problem solve to think about how can this problem be addressed. Right. The other neg negative uh, skill or skill relating to negative information that I think is important is conflict resolution, right. um, because in uh, any long-term relationship, mm -hmm. there will be conflict. And uh, so I think it's really important that people can discuss conflict uh, in a, as much as possible, an unemotional way. More important, really, right. is some of the positive things that people can um, can have, and um, I guess with regard to the self, I think of things like having confidence without arrogance. So being aware of both one's strengths and one's weaknesses. So a little bit of humility never really hurt anybody, and um, you know certainly uh, excessive positive self-esteem can be a problem. Optimistic outlook right. as much as one can, right. and being grateful for what one does have, sort right. of understanding, recognizing what 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 you do have that's positive. But the other thing that's important about psychological maturity, I think, is how we relate to others. Right. So, I think a really truly mature and healthy person uh, is uh, empathic care about what other people are feeling and they can imagine what other people are feeling and so that makes them behave towards those others as they would want to be behaved toward. Right. I don't think that came out, but whatever. I know what you um, mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, so do unto others as you would have them, as you would have them do unto you. Right. Exactly. The golden rule. I mean, irrespective right. of whether you're Christian or not, I mean, it still yeah. applies and it that's does. just, you know, kind of a tenet of respectful and mature interaction between humans and all species exactly. for that matter. That's exactly right. And um, so it doesn't even, I don't think, you know, maturity or, or, or well-being requires necessarily intimate relationships, but right. we all have relationships with many other people, and so part of, um, I think, being well-adjusted is to deal with those relationships in a kind way, a compassionate way. So I sort of think that psychological maturity is a mix of how you feel about yourself and then how you relate to other people too. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. I really it's appreciate nice you. meeting with you and speaking with you. And yeah. uh, I hope for all my Psych Your Mind readers out there, you found that this interview was insightful and informative, just as I did.